And it'll bring up David Ortiz. 271 with 32 home runs, 91 runs batted in, sitting on 498 in his career. Ortiz lifts it in the air to right field, sending Souza back onto the warning track at the wall, and that ball's gone. 499 for Big Poppy. A three-run shot puts the Red Sox on top, three to nothing. In the air to left field, struck pretty well. Grady Sizemore back onto the track at the wall. It's gone. Home run for Mookie Betts, his 15th of the year. And the Red Sox head on to their lead. It's now 4 to nothing. Now, I don't know how Mookie kept this ball in fair territory. Look where the ball is. It started around his ankles. I'll tell you what, Mookie Betts just gouts this ball out of here. Now Pedroia drives this out towards deep left center field. Kiermaier going back at the wall, and that is gone. Red Sox go back to back. First Mookie Betts, now Dustin Pedroia. Third home run of the game for the Red Sox, who lead it five to nothing. They are teeing off on Matt Moore tonight. Yeah, second time they have done this to Moore. Back at Fenway, and now here again tonight. Big Poppy David Ortiz about to lead it off here in the fifth inning. Sitting on 499 home runs. Ortiz to right field. Back goes Souza. Looking up. It is gone. David Ortiz, the newest member of the 500 club. Big Poppy, the greatest clutch hitter in Red Sox history, adds to his resume with number 500. Well, Jerry would very much like to have done it at home at Fenway Park, but to do it anywhere, incredible for Big Poppy. And you can see how happy all of his teammates are for him and the big smile on David Ortiz's face. I mean, that's a, a real weight lifted from his shoulders to get that done. And he gets it done right here. He's hit so many home runs. Travis Shaw stands in, and it's a fly ball out to left center field. Hitting it pretty well back towards the wall, and that ball is gone. Opposite field shot for Travis Shaw, two-run home run, and the Red Sox take a 10-2 lead. The fifth home run of the night for Boston.